Alright, welcome back, guys, to Let's Replay Metroid Fusion! In the last episode, we had just entered Sector 1, and we pretty much cleared out almost every single stabilizing atmospheric pressure thingy, whatever it is, like the computer, computer said. In this episode, we're actually going to finish up, and we're going to head to the next sector, and I almost freaking ran into that enemy again. Man, what the heck is wrong with me running into enemies? As you can see, there's another one of those tumor grow things, and I didn't get out of the way fast enough. Come on. No! No! I think I missed my shot! Okay, go down. No, man. No, 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 no. I can't die before the boss. As you can probably tell, these things only show up at, at like, before the boss room. Get down. Okay. Shoot. Okay, I please excuse my bad playing style. One, I haven't played this game forever. And two, I'm playing on GameCube controller when I usually have my Game Boy fans. And oh my gosh, it's a Chozo statue. Or Kozo, whatever you call them. You know what I mean. If you're a Metroid fanboy, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, if you shoot this, it, 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 like... Ah! That's a Core X. Now, these are special types of Core X because they reveal an eye. And what you do is you shoot the eye whenever it reveals itself. And you jump over the shot it, it takes, because after you shoot it, it shoots a shot. These are, um, I forgot what they're called. These are like, um, beam upgrade core X's. But anyways, let's grab it. And we've got the charge beam. Yay! It says press and hold B to charge. Now our power beam isn't weak. It's actually a lot stronger, and if you hold B, you can charge it. Just like in freaking Super Smash Brothers, Samus is OP because of the charge shot, yay! Uh, okay, well anyways, go over here and reveals a room. Actually, this room's pretty empty. Well, I wonder what could I do? Oh, shoot this. Yay, yay! Um, I know for sure there's an upgrade over here. Okay, you have to shoot missiles at those blocks. If you saw it just closely, there was an image of a, sh of a, of a missile before the block broke. You have to use certain, uh, weapons on certain spots. Anyways, holy crap, there's a bunch of craps! Craps! It must be from Red Lobster! Yeah, it's a crap special! Anyways, there's a, another missile shot for you. Missile upgrade for you. Um, like I, like I said, I'm not trying to go for 100%. I mean, I could, but that's too tedious at the moment. I've already got Golden Sun, Lost Age, and Pokemon White version to get to worry about that. And this is our last uh, room of uh, the atmospheric pressure thingy, what my bob thingies, thingy, thingy, thingy. What you do is you shoot that to reveal a little opening, and then just shoot like you normally do for these things. And all sta stabilizers online, atmospheric levels equalized. Yay! No more infected crap! Okay, let's try and grab this. Hey, ready. Shoot the door! Go over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, I remember the save room well because there's only two save rooms in the game that are like this. Let's save the game first. Now, if you notice over here, there's like a little block that has a crack in it. Shoot it! And then, uh, well, we don't have an ability that makes us jump and morph ball yet, but here's what I do. I jump, and I turn into morph ball form quickly, and I land in that spot. If I can get it right. No? Okay. Now, this is tedious. This upgrade is tedious, but I know where this one is, and I know how to get it, so I'm going to show it off. What you do is you're going to use an, I, uh, an ability called wall jumping, what you do for it is you jump against the wall with a cartwheel, and then you immediately push the jump button again in the opposite direction, and you jump off walls. Anyways, that's how you get this one. It was introduced in Metroid... It, not Metroid Fusion, because I am playing Metroid Fusion, but it was introduced in Metroid... Super Metroid, I'm sorry. Gosh, I can't get my games together. But anyways, that, that one's kind of an easy one, but then again, you have to use a complicated technique that not many people know about. If, it, if you're like me, this is your first Metroid game, you didn't know about that until... Well... You didn't know about that. <laughs> you just simply did not know about it. And holy crap. Die, Mr. Wing thingy. 
die, frog. Look at that. No. Okay, um. Am I going back into that? Yes, I am. Matt! Stay away from that room. God, oh my gosh. Clint can beat this game a lot faster than me. Oh, here's a little trick here. If you charge a shot and you do a cartwheel and you. Yeah, that's right. If you jump into an enemy with a cartwheel while you're charge shot, it counts as, like, damage towards them. It's kind of useful. Enemies like that will kill them instantly. But, nonetheless. Die! I can kill these things without using missiles now. Alright! You know, just for the sake of I'm gonna kill them with a missile anyway. Just... Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies in here. It gets worse later in the game. I tell ya. Do. 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 Don't suck my life away, enemies. Do. 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 Put back in here. Recharge. Because I'm recharging. I don't know if I got 100% of items so far. If I got 100%, I'd be surprised. Anyways, let's save our data. Let's talk to Mr. Compooperman. Compooperman, talk to us. Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, TRO, a tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X has entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He, or it, may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? Yes, sir, Mr. Computer Man, sir. Start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro navigation room, and I am thirsty because I... Am, like I said, I'm doing this all in one take. So, <laughs> it's kind of hard to talk and play the game, and my mouth is just getting dry, and it's like... Uh. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam misunderstood me well. He would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That is just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust his computer, too. Well, Mr. Computer Man has been very nice to us so far, so I, can, I trust him. Anyways, as you can see, the two is blinking, indicating that we need to go to Sector 2. Let's go down to Sector 2 elevator. And also, I didn't mention earlier, and I will mention it. Actually, I'm going to probably end this episode after this briefing and go to the next save room, and we'll just, I'll just, I'll just save for the next episode. Hello, Mr. Computer Man. We just met like less than 30 seconds ago. And holy crap, it's a small sector. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus! It's an X mimicking you! I have named it the SAX. Holy cow! Plot twist! I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached all the capsules containing all X that started this disaster. So it was me being infected that caused all this. But the SAX is definitely on our is our definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You cannot face it, because you will die like a little girl. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You're still very vulnerable to cold, an unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. Just stay away. <laughs> if you see it, just run. It Headquarters says we have bomb data ready for the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out of the find the way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by level one hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level one locks. But per safety per protocols, it is not marked on the map. You'll have to find a way on your own somehow, Samus. 
So first, find the security room and unlock the level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and download- get that bomb data. Is your objective clear? Yes, sir, Mr. Computer, sir. Keep an eye out for the SAX. Um, actually, like I said before, this is actually kind of a- well, it's not a big plot twist, because, well, there's a bigger plot twist later in the game, <laughs> but, um, yeah. There is an ex mimicking Samus, and I think this is a good stopping point for this episode. So, this has been Matt, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion. See you guys in the next episode.